Katie did create the sound of insects you may associate with nightfall, depending on your geographical location and the time of year. People often think these nighttime bugs are crickets, but that isn't always the case. Crickets have a chime-like chirp, like this. While Katie did's create more of a buzzing sound, like this. Katie did's and crickets aren't closely related, though Katie did's are often referred to as bush crickets, so there can be some confusion. Katie did's may also be known as longhorned grasshoppers. Of course, this just further complicates things because Katie did's aren't closely related to grasshoppers either. And probably the most confusing aspect of all of this is that technically katydids are more closely related to crickets than they are to grasshoppers, but they arguably look more like grasshoppers. Anyway, grasshoppers have short antennae, while crickets and katydids have long antennae, very long. So long, in fact, they're sometimes two to three times the length of the insect's entire body. That's the easiest way to tell a katydid from a grasshopper. And how to tell a katydid from a cricket? Well, if you want to get really close and personal, you can look at their feet. Katydids have four segmented feet, and most crickets have three segmented feet. Otherwise, you're probably better off just listening to their sounds. Also, katydids aren't related to cicadas, even though they can sound kind of similar. Katydids live on every continent except Antarctica, and there are over 3,000 species of this leaf-like insect. They're experts of camouflage and have adapted to look like the environments in which they live. So while they are most commonly known for their green color, there are species that come in all shapes and sizes. This one looks like a dead leaf. And this one looks like a stick. And this one is very pointy. Because of this excellent camouflage, it's more likely for someone to hear a katydid than to see one. Katydids are found in all kinds of environments, including deserts, rainforests, grasslands, and bushland. Typically, they're about 1 to 4 inches in length, excluding those crazy antennae, though the larger species can have wingspans more than 9 inches long. Most katydids are vegetarian and eat the leaves they live among. However, some are carnivorous and will eat other insects. On the flip side, katydids are eaten by bats, birds, reptiles, and small mammals. Many katydid species live for less than a year, producing the next year's generation during their lifetime and dying with the onset of winter. Some that inhabit more tropical areas can live many years, however, and will even produce offspring up to twice per year. Male katydids entice females with their rasping calls. They create these sounds by rubbing their wings together in a process called stridulation. Male katydids will also provide a meal to their mate, made from secretions of their abdominal glands. Hmm, sounds like true love. Katydids may lay their eggs on leaves, branches, rocks, and rotting logs, but most of them lay their eggs on the ground. They do not undergo complete metamorphosis, so nymphs hatch after enduring the cold of winter, usually looking very similar to their parents, but lacking wings. They'll shed many times before becoming full-sized adults after about three to four months. For more facts on Katie Dids, check out the links in the description. Give a thumbs up if you learned something new today, and thank you for watching Animal Fact Files.